What's going on Shift Team? I know I'm doing a little something different for this video, but I just dropped the Are You Even a Fan Part 6 of the Golden State Warriors Edition, so go ahead and check that out. Link will be in the description if you haven't checked it out yet. But I get a lot of comments, a lot of Snapchats, a lot of questions asking like, are you, how long you been a fan? You know, are you a bandwagon? Are you loyal? I have dropped, you know, for the loyal shift team members, I have dropped the My Conversation with Stephen Curry video where I talk about like my Warriors merchandise collection and like all these pictures that I have with like the Warriors players growing up. But I've been a fan for a while and I know a lot of my new subscribers and new members for shift team probably don't know that. But for today's video, I wanted to basically share a cool memory I have with you guys. I used to intern at a blog website called Warriors World. They're called Warriors Huddle now, and basically, I did like this bandwagon test. The guy I was going up against, his name is j -Bo, and he's like some warrior expert. And the guys were hyping him up, so I was kind of scared, but I kind of just went in naturally, kind of like, I was kind of confident already, but here it is, let's, I'm here to react to it, so let's do that. Okay, Scott, let's finally turn our attention back to Are You Smarter than a Bandwagon Fan? And this one... I haven't heard this podcast in so long, I'm getting nervous first right now. <laughs> championship, uh... Defense. Defense, yeah. I, mean, I was just waiting to see whether or not oh, and to finish my Oh, and the guy I'm going nice up against play. is actually, um... He's, like, been on the show before, and, like, this segment's been going on for a while, and he was he's, like, the champion or whatever, so... Um, He's defending his championship, so I'm this going up against him. So. And a, a former huddle participant Shift who created some great content for us, a man on the street for those longtime huddle listeners. Subin, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, what's up? How are you guys doing? Oh, we'd love to have you. Well, I, I'm doing okay, although I couldn't come up with the word defense. But beyond that, you know, I'm, I'm hanging in there. And just to, to finish out the picture, j -Bo, we we still got you out there as well? Absolutely, it's right here. I bet. Um, well, let's jump in. With, so, give us a sense. I mean, you know how this thing works. Why are you smarter than a bandwagon fan? Why will you be or be beating J Bo's ass tonight? All right. So, in my opinion, I mean, I do this. I do this. I have a YouTube channel, and I have a TV <laughs> called Are You I forgot I said that. Well, I have to do a little <laughs> bit of my research in my own time, and oh. I did. Uh, I, I was making a little bit of the podcast series, so. I think I have a little knowledge, and I think I, I have what it takes, so. That was nice. And, all right, Scott, weigh in. Was that a secret advertisement for his YouTube <laughs> channel, or was that an actual justification <laughs> for why he's going to do well? But I feel like the half dozen, six, one way, I mean, really could be been either way. I feel like even if he loses, it's now a win for him. It's a win for sure. No, I mean, it's a win for sure. Uh, all right, J-Bo, <laughs> you, you sufficiently intimidated, man? This guy has his own game show and his own YouTube My channel. Game show. You Are you this? even a fan? I'm not too worried. <laughs> Nicely played. Uh, Damn. Uh, uh, jokes I wouldn't be either. <laughs> there you go. And jokes aside, a bit. <laughs> Scott said it quickly, but let me double down on it. Um, I, of course, remember the work you did for us. You were excellent then. I'm sure you're excellent now. And based only on that, get out there and check out this guy's YouTube channel. But only after you listen to our podcast, like, no, like eight times. You know what I mean? Like, give us those numbers and then give yeah. him his <laughs> numbers. Um, a quick reminder on how the game works, gentlemen, and then we'll jump in. Uh, it is a trivia game, obviously, and it's a contest to see who can answer the most questions consecutively in a row. The only twist is that if we are going to start with questions about this year, and then we will move back in time with every question that you get right. All so we right. sufficiently test how far back your knowledge goes on the Warriors, or put differently, to see whether or not you're a bandwagon. Really fan. far, Overall, because the idea I've been a fan for a yeah. long time. All right. Uh, Absolutely. So, because you are our champ, J Bo, I'm gonna have you sit. Um, you're gonna be going second, which means the pressure's on. First, uh, J Bo, we're not gonna hear from you for a while. Let's go. Any parting shots? Anything Let's, go, Let's, Let's go, shift team. Let's go. Let's go, shift team. Good luck, my man. There you go. All right, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Um, this is just way too good sportsmanship. I, I mean, oh my god! Like, all right, gotta cut that and then just add two people just dropping f bombs towards one another. Man. Yeah. Just make it really, really <laughs> ugly. Um, all right, Sumit, so you are up first, big Sumit. man. We're gonna start <laughs> yeah. with a question about they this say year. My name wrong. Uh, last good. reminder: Sumit. you have thirty seconds to answer every question, um, and the thirty seconds does not begin to run until I finish the question. Here is question number one, 2016-2017. What did the fans in Oklahoma City call Kevin Durant? 
Hint, they've been making t-shirts. Cupcake is right. Cupcake. We go back a year to 2015, 2016. That's our championship loss. Smith, the Warriors came back from being down 3-1 to to which team in the playoffs? Thunder. Thunder, second round. Final answer? Second round. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Final point. answer, that is right. Second we go back another year. I don't, I don't know. 2014, 2015. Smith, who won the regular season MVP? Steph. 2014, second carry, baby. And that is <laughs> right. Quick question. pause. I've been working it's on kind fun. of like my canned game show host voice. What do you I'm guys think nervous so again far? That vocal inflections landed? Live. Like, Does no. it feel like we're watching Price is Right kind of deal or what? Oh, yes, sir. It's perfect. <laughs> Sounds like... Music to my ears right now. <laughs> Bam. That's all I wanted to hear. I, I would, if Scott wasn't here, I'd just give you an extra question because of that compliment. But but Scotty would ruin it, so let's <laughs> move on. 2013, 2014, Sumit. This was Mark Jackson's last year before getting fired. Did the Warriors finish the season over 500? Yes. Yeah. You sure? Final answer? Yes, sir. And right. 2012, 2013. I don't even remember how far I got. True or false? The Warriors lost in the first round of the playoffs to the Spurs. Oh. Correct. Man, this, this fool's YouTube channel might be worth checking out. Scotty, what do you think? Is he impressing it? <laughs> he is. I, I barely have a chance to start the timer. It feels like <laughs> are I'm you going to flip-flop again and this time say that J-Bo's going to lose? Or, like, yes, or, no, or, or, yeah, yeah, you usually wait the until afterwards up. to make that prediction. Yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to say Sumit's going to win. I forgot to give you that prediction up front and I probably think I'm gonna would win not too. have said it because of the whole YouTube thing. <laughs> but I, I think he is going to win now, which brings us back to 2011-2012. Sumit. The Warriors waived this fan favorite from Harvard, who ultimately signed with the Knicks. Jeremy Lin. Jeremy. If Correct. You're, if you're we go back another year, 2010, 2011. Who did the Warriors select with the sixth pick in the draft? I'll give you a hint. He played for Baylor. FAU. FAU. <sighs> That's easy. This guy's on fire. Let's just move back. I don't even have to Marcus ask him. Right after uh, final answer. 2009, 2010. <laughs> Smith, who was the head coach? Uh, Darn Uh-oh. Cracking the armor. Don Nelson. Uh, Darn Nelson. Don Nelson. I can't tell. Are you thinking oh, that answer? Don Nelson, Keith right? Smart or Don Nelson? I'm um, right now. Wait. I'm going to say Don Nelson. I'm gonna go Wait, with Don do Nelson. I go out like that? Final answer? Can you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say yeah. I want to hear that question. What were you going to ask me? Can you? Can, can you, you say the years again? I don't know. Uh, the, oh, oh, that's, a, that's a bad sign, Scotty. Right, we're at 30. All right, I'll give you one last. The year is 2009, 2010. This will be your final yeah, answer. Don Nelson, Don Nelson okay. is right. Okay. We go back I another lost, year. I, I thought I said 2008, I was like, 2009. The Warriors' first round draft pick with Anthony Randolph. Between us girls, he was one of my favorite players of all time. True or false? Mr. Randolph averaged more than 15 points per game in his rookie year. Two. Um, he was pretty good when he came in. Sure. He fell off. Sure. He fell off later. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know this you, one. You got a 50 50 shot, right. man. I bet you there's a YouTube channel out there that can help oh, you. I think I, I lost go with this true. one. You're going true? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, you made it so far, man. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> oh, you made it correct. That was oh, right. No. I did the whole head fake oh, game yeah. show thing. Boom. 2007, okay, yeah, 2008, the beginning, what Warriors player received a seven-game suspension for an incident involving a gun outside a strip club? Steven Jackson. Uh, Gilbert Arenas? No. Gilbert Arenas? Final answer? Wait. What year was it? <laughs> Why did 2007, I say Gilbert? 2008. He wasn't on the team. Ah, uh, dang. Gilbert. I'm going to go with Gilbert, yeah. Final answer, yeah. Yeah. All right, that is incorrect. Stephen Jackson. Oh, Stephen Jackson. You don't remember he, he somebody hit him with a car oh. and he busted out a gun and fired that it into the bad. air a bunch of times, hell of randomly. Um, oh, and he, he got a, a tattooed gun being held by two hands that were praying. Gilbert. Well, it doesn't mean you've lost, big man. It just means that you petered out at 2007. 2008. 2008. So, Jabo, your work is cut out for you. 2007. So, meet, we're not going to hear from you ago. for a minute. Any parting right words to the uh, the current champ? So, since I was no, 10 I years I old, own, I've been watching the Warriors loyally. The damage. No, I'd that say you did pretty it. well. 
Um, all right, J-Bo, you know the years, rules. Uh, you're coming you off a remarkably impressive performance re- last, year, so, or last year. Baby. Last year. Uh, last couple weeks ago. So the let's see how well you years. do here. You ready to go? I got 10 questions. Absolutely. Right. I think that's... All right. 2016, 2017. What Warriors were NBA All-Stars? Uh, the Splash Brothers and Draymond. K- KD. Final answer? And KD. <laughs> Final answer? <laughs> <laughs> this is my final answer. <laughs> there you go. Boom. The that would have been wrong. that would have been really amazing. Yeah. <laughs> had, you, had you forgot Durant and lost in the first round, that is correct. We yeah. go back a year. Um, 2015, 2016. The Warriors lost to the Cavs in the finals. How many games did they make it? Seven. Unfortunately. Yep. That Try to work that's my memory. Easy. Factually <laughs> correct. Yeah, easy question. Uh, nonetheless, 2014, 2015. Did the Warriors win over or under 65 games? Over. Uh, 2014, 2015, mm-hmm. that was uh, 67. So above 65, yep. He's just, he's just showing off, Scotty. He even did the math for us, too. <laughs> gave us the number and then made it clear that 67 is, in fact, wow. above 65. You are right. We go back a year. 2013, 2014, what Warriors player was named to the NBA All-Defensive First Team? All defensive first team, twenty thirteen. No uh, Draymond, I want to say. Draymond Bowen. Oh man. What year? All defensive first team from the Warriors. Uh, no, that was two. Or, no, it was Iguodala, wasn't it? I'm, I'm gonna say Iguodala. First team. Final answer. Off the Final bench. Answer. Yep. That is correct, and you should have seen the range of emotions you put your boy Scotty through, man. It gave you like a like a grin, and then like a, a sign that like some or a, a facial uh, expression that suggested somebody had farted work. terribly in this room. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that was that was really That's fun, really, really for everybody involved. Well, you were right. We go back a year, 2012, 2013. True or false? I would have got that wrong. The Warriors though. traded Jarrett Jack and a second rounder, and in return got the pick that they ultimately used to pick up Pat McCaw. Pat McCaw was false. Late as fuck. <laughs> that is right. I mean, Pat that, this year. Yeah, yeah, that is exactly right. And it was it was kind of convoluted too. And didn't they, I think they bought the pick for easy. Pat McCaw? So no, you are one hundred percent right. We go back a year, 2011, 2012. Which player led the team in points, assists, and steals? Monte. Points, assists, and steals. In what year is this? 2011, 2011. 2012. That's when Clay was drafted. So that's Point when, assist right and when Clay, that's when Monte was traded. Oh, man. Steph Curry Steph was sucked ass. ass then. But was he good yet? Curry sucked ass. On this one? Uh, lost at this Ten one. seconds. I think I'm going to say Steph. Final answer? Final answer, Steph. Yeah, final answer. Yep. Steph. That is incorrect. We have a new champion, Monte Ellis J Bo. I can't oh, believe no. what oh, happened. That Scotty, do you want to talk to your boy? What happened there? I, I want to hear from J Bo what that happened, season. man. Come on, Monte. You had it. You knew. You said Steph. Was he good that year? And that was <laughs> Steph wasn't good. He was probably. Yeah, I knew it was a little too early for him. Blister, Damn it. On his ankle. Congrats, congratulations, so, man. Everyone hated yeah, Steph. I mean, uh, Sumit, we'll get to you in a second. J Bo. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep this video too long. You guys can check the episode out fully, completely. It's a whole. I think it's like a complete 31 minute and 32 second uh, episode. But they have multiple various topics, various guests on there, and yeah, go check it out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys trust me when I tell you I'm a loyal Warriors fan, because I can't sleep when you guys call me a bandwagon. I swear to God. No, I'm joking. Merchandise. 2018. Say less, do more. Peace!